Now that I've taken the Laplace transform of the left-hand side, I'm obligated to take the Laplace transform of the right-hand side. So I take the Laplace transform of u of t minus 5 times the cosine of 3 times t minus 5 quantity. So there's my Laplace transform. Okay, that's me taking the Laplace transform of this right-hand side. Well, what do I need to do to perform this Laplace transform? I need to first recognize that this is a function times a step function. I go to my table. I look at the formulas. I recognize that there are three places that the step function appears. It appears by itself in table entry 19. It appears multiplying an f of t minus a function, right? a, a function that's already been shifted in the time domain in table entry number 5. But going from t's to s's, the important Laplace transform here is the alternate version of 5. So this is alt number 5 at the bottom. And so, to perform that transform, what I need to do is I need to figure out my a. My a can be found right here. And so my a is equal to 5. And then I need to figure out what my g of t is. My g of t is everything else that's not the step function. So that's going to be cosine of 3 times t minus 5. So now what this Laplace transform says <coughs> is that when I transform into the Laplace domain, I have e to the negative a s. So that's e to the negative 5 s. That is telling me about a time delay that's present in the um, time domain. So that e to the negative 5 s is the Laplace representation of the fact that there is a time delay floating around. Now, I must take the Laplace transform of not g of t, but g of t plus a, but my a here is 5, so I'm taking the Laplace transform of g of t plus 5. So what is this equal to? This is equal to e to the negative 5s times the Laplace transform of g of t plus 5. Well, if g of t is equal to cosine of 3 times quantity t minus 5, g of t plus 5 is equal to the cosine of 3t. So this is multiplying, or this now gives me the Laplace transform of cosine 3t, which is equal to e to the negative 5s times now the Laplace, Laplace transform of cosine 3t is found in table entry number um, 13. And so this becomes s over s squared plus 9. Okay. So... What we now need to do to finish off step one is to recognize that this is over here the left-hand side of ODE in Laplace. This is the right-hand side of the ODE in Laplace. And so, to finish off step one, what I have is that if I were to solve for y of s, the initial condition terms move over to the right-hand side. So that gives me a 6s minus a 3. And this is all over 3s squared plus 27. And then... I also have added to this e to the negative 5s times s over s squared plus 9 
times 3s squared plus 27. And that completes step one. What we now have to do is kind of massage these terms in the y of s, or in the s domain, because this is the solution to the IVP in the Laplace domain. But now we have to figure out how to get these guys back.